So today I'm going to be making chili and I'm going to be using uh, ground meat and uh, I have my pot warming up so I'm going to put the ground meat in the pot and uh, I will be showing you guys how I make it. So. Okay, I'm going to put the first portion of it. My pot is warmed up. I'm going to keep this to put my... Uh, I'm going to throw it over later, but I'm going to use it to put my spoon on it to rest while the thing is cooking. So I'm going to smash this. This should last the whole week. And hopefully everybody eats it. So I'm gonna smash it for a while. Let it cook for a little while. And then um, I'm gonna come back to it. And I'm gonna try to get all the water and fat out first. So by doing that, in order for me to do that, I'm going to cover it for a little while and then um, I'll come back to it. So now it has a lot of water in it. I'm gonna drain this water out. You see? All the liquid I don't need, I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm gonna use this and I'll be right back. Okay, I got some of the water out. And I'm gonna, probably gonna do that about two, two more times. So I'm letting it dry it out for a little while and then I'm gonna be putting all my spices, herbs and spices in there. So I'm gonna cover it again, leave it for a few more minutes and then I'll come back to it. Okay, checking it again, there's some more liquid. I need to get rid of this so I'm gonna drain it out and then I'll come back to it again okay. drain it looks like there's more liquid that needs to get out of that meat so I'm gonna right now this is how it looks I'm gonna leave it one more time until all I'm hearing is the meat sizzling at the bottom. So I'm going to cover it for a few more minutes and then I'll check back on it again. Okay. Just checking it one more time. It's about to ready. See, there's no more liquid. There might be a little bit, but I'm gonna drain it out again. It's not that much. <coughs> so I got all the liquid out of the meat. So now I'm gonna my herbs and spices. The first thing I'm going to start with is uh, that uh, cilantro things that we mix all together. 
I'm going to put a good amount because there's a good amount of meat in there. So I'm going to put some to be blended in there with it. Gonna stir it so it go all mixed. And I'm gonna crush some garlic in there. that I put in the freeze, freeze freezer so I'm gonna crush some of it in there I like to crush them Sort of warmed it up a little bit in the microwave so I didn't have to struggle with it. Push it again. I'm going to put each of the spices individually a little bit at a time so all of it could get mixed individually with the meat. With the meat. Then I use Goya adobo. I'm not even going to measure it, I'm just going to eyeball it. Put a little bit and mix it. Black pepper. Again, no measurement, just eyeball. Africa. make the chili it can be eaten with anything. Put put in bread, eat it with rice, anything. So my chicken was finished yesterday so I decided to make that. So I have all my uh, herbs, spices all mixed and 
with the meat. There it is. I have one more pan I have to add to it. It's this Goya Saison. I'm going to use two packs. Again, if you're using the adobo all season, um, all purpose seasoning, you don't really need this, but I like to add both of them. And I'm not gonna add any salt in it. All those spices have salt, already have salt. My son is making noise right now. And I told him to be quiet too. So I'm just mixing everything together. Putting the other one. tomato sauce, my homemade tomato sauce. Let me get my yesterday I should have checked to see if I had enough so I could make more. I think this is enough. So this is my homemade tomato sauce. I'm going to put all of it in there. I have tomatoes, all the stuff that I like. I put in there. Vegetables. So next time, actually I'm gonna, maybe this week I'll make some and I might videotape it, record it as I'm making it. So that's my tomato sauce. Checking back on it again. Over. Now it's cooking. There it is. Now the next thing I'm gonna add in it is uh, beans. And the beans I had made it what a day ago for my son, and he's not eating it. So I'm gonna include that some of the beans in it. So I'm gonna add that. There's 
the beans I made over the week. Like like yesterday or so I made it. So I'm gonna add some on. Instead of getting a can of beans, I'm just gonna add the one that I made. So pretty much it's done. So I'm just gonna let it cook. And then uh, this will probably last us all week. And uh, that's pretty much it. I didn't fry anything, didn't put any olive oil, nothing in it. Just cooked on its own. And just add the stuff that I needed. That's about it. Now I'm going to cover it, let it cook, lower the fire. And that's it. Okay, let's see. Okay, it's done. So now I'm going to eat some. Let's see if I could. 